Good day. This is day one. For the past several months, I've been reading the book of Revelation. There are a few reasons for checking it out. One reason is that I have had a long time interest in prophecy. For another, every time I suggested it be used for a group Bible study, it was turned down for one reason or another. So I said to myself, self, you're going to have to do it for yourself. And so I do. And I am. Another reason is found in Revelation 1 verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keepeth the words of this prophecy, and keep those things that are written therein, for the time is at hand. And I like to be blessed. Do you? And as I have mentioned at other times, he is coming soon. Re and I'm reading a song by the Oak Ridge that the Oak Ridge Boys sang in 1998. Troublesome times are here, filling song, filling men's hearts with fear. Freedom we all hold dear, now is at stake. Humbling your hearts to God, saves from the chastening rod, seek the way pilgrims trod, Christians awake. Jesus is coming soon, morning or night or noon, many will meet their doom, trumpets will sound. All of the dead shall rise, righteous meet in the skies, going where no one dies, heavenward bound. Troubles will soon be o'er, happy forevermore. When we meet on that shore, free from all care, rising up in the sky, telling this word goodbye. Homeward we then shall fly, glory to share. O Jesus is coming soon, morning or night or noon. Many will meet their doom, trumpets will sound. All of the dead shall rise, righteous meet in the skies, going where no one dies, heavenward bound. Jesus is coming soon, morning or night or noon. Many will meet their doom, trumpets will sound. All of the dead shall rise, righteous meet in the skies, going where no one dies, heavenward bound, heavenward bound, heavenward bound. There is also a version on the internet by a cappella hymns, which uses, uses the original 1942 rhythms, and it's quite good. I have read o Revelation over and over, and one of the verses that stands out is Revelation 3, verse 3. Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard and hold fast, and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. These words bear repeating. If thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. If thou shalt not watch, I will come as a thief. I take that to mean we need to watch in order not to be caught off guard. It seems to be in contrast to what most of us have learned, that we do not know the day or the hour when Jesus shall return. Matthew 24, verses 36 and 42 to 44 says, But when the, that day and hour will come, no one knows, not the angels in heaven, not the Son, only the Father. Stay alert, because you don't know on what day your Lord will come, but you do know this. Had the owner of the house known when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore, you too must always be ready, for the Son of Man will come when you are not expecting him. Tim McKide says in an article posted in 2011 that some people think day or hour allows for knowing the year or is only code for the Day of Trumpets, which is a Jewish festival celebrated in September, known, also known as Rosh Hashanah. And he goes on to say, on the opposite extreme, some think Jesus meant that his return would happen, could happen at any moment, or that we could learn nothing about timing and therefore not even study his prophecies. We see in the Olivet Discourse in the books of Matthew, Mark, and Luke that the disciples asked Jesus in Matthew 24 verse 3, tell us when these things shall be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming? and of the end of the world. Similar verses are found in Mark and Luke. What does this mean? Are we, be, are we being told to never set dates for his return when he is coming back? When is he coming back, rather? I suggest that you check out, read the Olivet Discourse for yourself. At least one of the versions from Matthew 24, which has 20, 51 verses, 
Mark 13, which is 37 verses, or Luke 21, which is 38 verses. Hopefully, it will get you started on the road to discovery and pique your interest in prophecy. In an article from escapeallthesethings.com, we read, When Jesus said that no man knows the day or hour, he chose his words carefully and was also careful not to say the very things that so many people think he meant. Only when you look at Jesus' statement in its cultural context and compare other prophecies related to it, can you understand what he really meant. He was saying that we cannot know the exact time of his coming far in advance, even though it is obvious that it will come on a future day of trumpets, September or Rosh Hashanah. He also thought Rather, he also taught that as long as we continue not knowing, it should give us extra needed incentive to stay awake or sober-minded instead of apathetic and liable to backslide and fall into sin. There are those who believe that Jesus' return is imminent, even at the door, and who believe he will come in the fall. I even was talking to a retired officer, a Salvation Army officer, many, many years ago who believed this. Thank you, Lord for your word, which is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And thank you for revealing to us the reality of the scriptures, shedding your light in them, and showing us exactly how they apply to us. Till tomorrow, continue in God's blessings.